Hey guys, I know I said I was going to do a lot of this without you, but then it just, it did not feel right. So here I am back again. Um, we may take little breaks periodically to do some of this. Just so we're clear, there are many ways to finish this project. There is no right or wrong way. I mean, if you were like Miss Mitchell, I went ahead and I used watercolors because I wanted to see what this looked like painted. That would be fine with me. Um, we have this piece he created. There are many, many different ways to finish it. The dots would look amazing, but it just depends on what you have at home. Whether or not that's something uh, that'll work really well. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trace some of these lines and I'm actually gonna shade some of it with pencil and then I'm gonna make some of it with my little dot matrix style stuff. Okie dokie. So I'm probably going to pause this video real quick just to finish tracing because you guys don't need to watch me trace the whole thing because you know how to trace as well. Okay, let's see. Is it this one? Or is it this one? Hmm. If I can find it. All right. Maybe. Struggling here a bit. Okay, um, during that little break, I went ahead and I colored in everything that was supposed to be black, and I traced everything that I wanted to be traced. Those are not necessary steps, but I thought it would help it look more finished. So as it is now, I could do one of two things. I could leave it, or I could add some dots. Um, I really want to add some dots, because I like that in... Lichtenstein style. Oh, he has a lot of dots. Um, if you make them kind of random, I think you'll be happier with the result than trying to make them too perfect. I recommend do not make super tiny dots. If you really want to, that's fine. Um, if you're using marker, make sure you're not hitting the marker, but being really gentle and pushing softly. If you're using crayon, remember you'll get better dots if you put the crayon down on the paper and then you twist it. If you're using pencil, you kind of have to make super tiny little circles as you do so. So I'm gonna add some dots wherever it is over here, you know, on the example that has dots, I'm gonna add some dots. You can change the size as you go. You can make some really little ones and then you can have some medium size. Um, it's kind of up to you. And if you're like, well, I'd rather just color it and skip the dots altogether, that's another option. Okay, if you don't have a marker, you can still have this turn out absolutely beautiful. Just by adding dots with pencil. I honestly think having different sizes Makes it look really nice when it's done. It looks really interesting. If you wanted to do it like him, I guess, you know, he didn't use a whole lot of different size dots. He would just use more or less dots. So closer together, further apart. Closer together they are, the darker that area will appear. The further apart they are, the lighter it will appear. It's all about density. Okay, more dense means heavier, closer together. Less dense means more spread out. Um, I think the next video is just going to be me <laughs> adding dots. <laughs> so if you decided that you wanted to go a different way with this and add color or something like that, you could probably just do that now. You tune into the next one, I'm going to be dotting.